Today we are gonna discover the tricks of the racket of Juan Lebron, Ale Galán, Sanjo and many many more players so stay tuned to the video. Hello everyone, I'm Pablo and I welcome you to a new Force set. Let's start with Miguel Lamperti that is one of the most demanding players with his racket. Actually the Argentinian player before becoming a professional paddle player he worked in a paddle racket factory. ¿Cuántos overgrips llevas? Mira, uno. Pero esto también, esto es recontra personal. Esto está todo acá en la cabeza. Porque he jugado con tres, he jugado con cuatro, he jugado con cero, le he sacado el de abajo y he puesto uno. Uno está... Eso es... ¡pah! La cabeza también maneja todo. Eso es como uno se encuentra más cómodo. Yo comienzo de la parte finita del pegamento. Yo uso una pala de 380, 377 más sangre y 380. Pero claro, no es lo mismo usar una pala de 380 que usar una pala de 370 que una de 360. ¿Sí? Cuanto más peso tiene la pala, la pala va a despedir más, pero también a la vez es más difícil de mover. Ok, now it's time to analyze the racket of one of the best defenders of the tour, Fede Chingoto. If you look at the following picture, do you see something different? Well, Fede Chingoto doesn't use the ESA core in his racket. If we buy his racket in stores, the racket will come with the ESA core incorporated, but nowadays there is no top bull paddle player that uses the ESA core. And also you can see it in the pictures, Chingoto's racket incorporates more layers of carbon to make it harder. So to summarize everything, Chingoto removes the ESA core and puts two overgrips. So finally his racket weighs 385 grams. And if we talk about Chingoto, we must talk about Tello. Actually Tello is the player with the strongest mass in all the tour. If we look at some pictures of Tello, the grip of his racket may look very thin, but it is actually his hand that is very big. Tello removes the original grip and he puts three over grips in total. But on the other hand, Tello prefers to play with a racket without the rough finishes and like the one that is sold at the stores. So finally his racket weighs 385 grams, the same as Singoto. Have you noticed that all professional players use white over grips? Why? Leave me your answer in the comments. The next player used the original grip on his racket that is something really strange to see. He is Captain America, also known as Alex Reed, who uses the original grip and adds two overgrips to make him feel more comfortable. His racket has a special weight for him, 390 grams. And apart from the weight, Alex Reed likes his racket the harder, the better. So we have seen in different tournaments with high temperatures putting the racket in the fridge to cool it down and make it a little bit harder between games on the bench. Ok, 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 ok. There are three players left to analyze. Sanjo, Galan and Lebron. If this video is helping you to learn some tricks, I will appreciate it a lot if you subscribe to the channel. Let's start talking about Alejandro Galan and the mystery of his racket because he uses a different rubber compared to the one that is sold at stores. Well, I did a video talking about all these topics, so I leave the video here if you want to check it out. Another curiosity is that Galan doesn't use any screws in his racket to make it head heavy. But let's focus on the main question that is how many overgrips does Galan use? The answer is very simple, Ale Galan removes the original grip and he puts two over grips. This way his racket weights a total of 385 grams, the same as Chingoto and Tello. Ok, it's time to talk about Sanjo Gutierrez. Until we know officially what is gonna be his new brand, what kind of tricks Sanjo uses on his racket? The Argentinian is one of the players who currently plays with more weight, even more than Alex Riff. His racket has a weight of 393 grams as Sanjo removes the original grip and he puts two over grips. But Sanjo also removes the bumper to make his racket more head heavy. ¿Empiezas por la parte fina o por la parte gordita, no, Sanjo? por la parte fina. No sé si está bien o está mal, pero empiezo por la parte fina. No ¿Se te si da siempre está. bien poner los over grips? Este sobre gusto, te tiene que dar como te gusta a vos, no sé, que a veces lo pongo a otro y me dice, uy, sos un desastre. A mí me gusta como queda, no sé. ¿Cada cuánto lo cambias? Eh, ahora en época de pandemia, cada 3-4 meses. No, <risa> no eh, en torneo. Cada partido. No, cada partido no. No porque siento que por ahí ya hay un grip que el grip se hizo a la forma de mi mano y lo aguanto y para la partida. Si no está muy mojado, lo aguanto un par de partidas. ¿Dos sobre grips? ¿O cómo? Saco original. Uh -huh. Pongo dos. 
Siempre los Head Pro. Sí, y Sancho. Head Pro Sancho. <risa> And finally, let's take a look at Juan Lebron's case. The first thing to highlight about Lebron is the change of train compared to Alex Ruiz, Sanjo or Galán. Because one of the things that Lebron needs in a racket is agility. And that is why his racket weights 375 grams. However, although Lebron prefers a light racket, he needs his racket to be head heavy and therefore adds lead on the top of the racket. But let's focus again to the main question of the video, that is how many overgrips does Juan Lebron use? Well, Juan Lebron's case is unique. He removes the original grip like many players, but Juan uses half an overgrip up to the middle of the handle and then he adds a full overgrip. In other words, Juan uses one and a half overgrips. But if you want to know how many overgrips uses Paquito, Dineno or Bella, like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. Ciao!